You ready, dude? So we're gonna start with the goggles. So I'm gonna just tell him it. And then if he pulls it out, then I'm gonna add pressure. Come on, goggles. Good boy, nope. Uh, good, good, good. Very good, now that good marker is helping me out, just telling him, hey, you're doing it right. Keep doing it, allowing me to set, hook it up. Yes, very good, dude. And that's all the goggle talk I'm gonna do today. All right, right now, um, what I want to show you guys is the next part of Gumbo's training. No, Gumbo, no. So, I, my e-collar, I just was fiddling with it. It was easier for me to use my spatial pressure, kind of knee him out of my space. Please. So, where Gumbo's at is, no, nope, please, is he's in the avoidance training part. So, what that means is he can go through an entire uh, session without ever feeling the e-collar as long as he does everything right away. The second that he's slow or maybe makes a mistake, just like that place, he, I, don't, I can't remember if he started going place or just looked at me when he did and didn't do what I was looking for, then pressure was applied and he went all the way through. I'm working at five. Um, again, he's super low when he's in work, can be high depending on what he's doing. For instance, I was sitting here talking to the girls. He was on place. He was figuring out he was in a training session because I had untethered him. He was hanging out and he started barking at us. So I high level corrected. And when I talk about high, 35, 40, sometimes 50. So we got to make sure we're holding him accountable. We're stopping the behavior as quick as possible so we can move on. Um, so you can hear the sound box every time I'm pressing the button. I'll run through everything and um, you'll have a good understanding of how I'm using the collar. Break. Good to go bowling. Very good. Place. Nope. Place. Good boy. Break. So I'm going to just reset that rep. Place. Nope. Place. So I'm giving a little bit of guidance with my body. Good boy. I'm going to reward him for that. I think he's getting a little confused. I don't know if that's so much of him just not wanting to listen. I think he's a little confused. Place. Break. That's like a boy. Place. Good boy. So if I find that I'm having a problem with something. Oh, shit. I'm looking at my angles. You're barely in. Sorry, guys. If I find that I'm struggling on a behavior, it's to our benefit to stick on that behavior until I master it. Like just right there, I've done it, I don't know, three or four times. He was still struggling. I was still rewarding him, but I'm going to keep on that rep and that picture until I get it right, which I did. Now I can move on. Come a break with me. Good boy. A little bit of rubbing with the goggles, but he's really doing good about coming into position. I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. I can't. It's something that's uncomfortable for him. Nope. Sit. Nope. Sit with me. Good boy. Good boy. So I was using sit, seeing if that worked. It didn't. I'd rather just restart the with me. So I took steps back and helped him get into position. With me. Good boy. Three. Down. Good. The goggles are uncomfortable for him. So a little bit of rubbing, I'm gonna take it a lot and he's getting really pushy, then I'll be a little bit more strict for him. Come up here. So he's out to the side. Nope, here. Go ahead, help him into the front of me. What are you doing, dude? No, knock it off. Here, good boy, good boy. What's going on, dude? Just anticipating what's coming next. Could be that we're staying in a lot of a pattern um, in his training session, so something we and you need to adjust so he's not thinking or expecting what's going to happen next. Place. Good boy. Couple here. Good boy. Good. With me. Good boy. With me. No. So I'm going to start getting a little bit pushier about this rubbing. With me. Good boy. Because of that, I'm gonna grab the leash and keep that in my hand. With me. Good boy. Very good. And so, something I can do is I'm gonna prepare to correct him for rubbing at the goggles. So, I've got my e-collar turned up. I'm gonna do it at 40. 
Now, because I'm so high, I cannot do it, use it in the ways that I've been previously, just right now. I'm only gonna use it as a no button to correct this behavior. So I'm gonna do things that I think he'll rub on and then I'll correct him, but I'm also getting his facial pressure to get him off. So with me, no, no, with me. Good boy, and reward him for not doing it. With me, and again, that's 40 right now I'm using, no. And I'm pairing it with a no, no. With me, good boy. But this is where it can kind of get confusing. He's doing the behavior, still correcting him. So I gotta be careful that he's not thinking that he's getting the correction for not for doing the behavior because then he's not gonna know what he's supposed to do. And we can really kind of create some superstitious behaviors from all that. So I gotta be clear. And that's why I chose to pick up the leash. So if he broke out of the with me command, went to place, laid down, whatever, I can stop him and make him successful to stay in that behavior. With me. Good boy, that was very good. He really thought about that right there. That was really good. Uh -huh. so I just gave him a little warning. No. With me. Good boy. With me. Very good, dude. Very good. So I can reward all that. I really like that. Another thing in this session that he was doing is he was rubbing up on me on the recall. So place. Now, let's say he made a mistake on that place. So my e-collar set for really high. I'm gonna choose not to use my e-collar, use my other tools. Either walk into him, grab the leash, something, but that's something you wanna be thoughtful of when we're going back and forth between communication, which is low level, and correction, which is high. Come over here. So I'm gonna plan on when he rubs me. Oh, you're so good. Yes, nice job, dude. That was so good. And you know what? That was a great session. I'm gonna end on that. So he's gonna end his, he's gonna earn his whole meal for that last recall, and we'll call it. So I don't know how long that session was. We'll see when I see the recording, but pretty small, pretty short.